Welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War England Campaign, episode of 46 with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we had beaten back the Polish siege of Prague and scared the French off a little bit more. Now the French are down to just one army standing ready against us. We're making a move on Bern. We're still excommunicated, but I don't care. And, um, yeah, we're now making a plan for dealing with Tobias Zacharek. Who is kind of a threatening chap. I'm not here to negotiate the truth. He's got a lot of stodge in his army, basically. Or at least not too much stodge, but he's got a lot... Well, actually, no, I'd, I'd consider these guys to be stodge. He's got a lot of flak and stodge in his army, but at the same time, he's bringing some powerful cavalry and annoying artillery. But luckily, this one is lighter on the archers than most Polish armies. So, we are prepared to do with him. However, I decided to take one additional turn in Magdeburg just to get ourselves ready and retrained before we make our move on him. I'm also going to request some reinforcements from Hamburg who usually take a turn to reach the area. Just because when I move in I don't want another Polish army to appear out of the splue and snipe me but for now we're in a pretty decent position. We've pretty much made all our moves for this turn so we are just now at a position where we need to spend what's left of our money. Now I do want to continue the investment in this area due to the local Mongolian um, happenings. Uh, so Accra could really use a chapel of some description, but it's already got one set up, so Something like a jousting list will probably will actually increase the experience of our knights, which is actually pretty useful to me Because Mongolian cavalry is well, it's renowned to be some of the best in the world I could use something that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with our cavalry or at least Stand up in a fight against them. That being said, can we start recruiting some additional longbowmen, please, and additional spears? And um, I actually just blew out anything I could do um, it's 1,600 Florence for pretty much anything here. Um, right, hold that fort anyway because Prague may need something to do anyway because we still have a bit of an aftermath to deal with here. We've already uh, got things to repair because the walls took a bit of a slamming from the trebuchets. And we've got also got the catapults to retrain, which can be done. I'm going to merge Sorry. the spears as best I can so we can deal with them next turn. Billmen are doing okay. Sorry. Longbowmen, as you can Ordered. see, they need to be sent back for retraining or disbanded. Uh, Magdeburg is our closest retraining centre. That being said, there's a Polish city in between me and me, me and them, um, which is uh, Breslau. I would like to get hold of Breslau if possible, but at the same time, it's a bit deep in Polish territory. Well, it's all kind of deep in Polish territory. We don't really have a, a weak frontier for me to pick on, or if it did, it's probably going to be Breslau. But for now, I don't want to move in there. I suspect there's a lot of Polish armies moving around in this area, so... Don't want to rock the boat of them too early, especially when I want to focus on getting Stettin, which actually could allow us to sneak around the Balkans of the Baltic, to be more accurate, which uh, might open up some better opportunities for ourselves. Anyway, Prague's going to get to work on that. Nuremberg's already working on some additional uh, stuff. Uh, so, uh, we've got retraining to continue with here as well, so we're going to do some retraining. That's pretty much all the money gone anyway, so that is pretty much where we can call it a turn. By the way, you didn't have anything gone, did we you? Not. No. We are not here for a fight. Not here for a fight. I don't know what these Russians are up to. They're off on some sort of voyage, I think. Uh, Nicholas, by the way, we're still waiting on Nottingham's Gentleman's Club to finish its job. Uh, can you go and deal with Admiral Grekin? Because it's not that he's worrying me, it's just that I don't really want to know about being uh, attacked. And Oh, he looks a bit like a Viking anyway. Yeah, two pirate ships. Hello, pirates. Rawr, rawr. Uh, yeah, just sink him. Thank you. Our people rule these waters, and Admiral Nicholas is now competent at sailing. Well done. Yes, sir. That sail. is all I could ever ask of you, isn't it? Um, we'll just merge whatever we can as well. Uh, oh, wait, that's a Fleet Hulk. Ready, yeah, we've got Hulks and Cogs. I forgot we have slightly different boats, but their icons aren't really too different. Well, they are different, but they're not really too noticeable, but there. Right, yeah, good, 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 good. Right, we're going to move on to the next turn then. We're going to observe our enemies. I mainly want to see where Prince Mahiet goes. May we meet he hasn't got too feet. many movement options, but he's, I think he's been a little shaken up by my recent victories, which is good. Uh, Hail my but I could king. actually move on in this turn. Uh, I don't really know too much about what he's bringing, though, but at the same time, I've got an okay army. Um... I've got plenty of artillery in Angie, yeah. So you know what, I'm going to give it a turn because I want this catapult to join because I want to bring some artillery to battle. Uh, so yeah, we'll give it one more turn and then we'll move on him. 
so that being said, Cayenne, do you want to send in your extra Sorry. units? Your and we've got, then, you know, we've got a full complement of troops now just to throw at him, so that's more than happy for me. And yeah, we're going to call that a turn there. Move on to the next one and see what's going down. My liege, we must make a stand. We are besieged. Hmm, right. Whatever are those Danes up to, I want to... Anyway, Garrett of Kendall, the Lake District, wants to join a family. Uh, you better not actually be based in Kendall. I hope you're based somewhere useful, otherwise you're going to be stuck in a gentleman's club. So, um... But again, he's incredibly disloyal. I mean... I don't think I'm ready to take on someone with, like, one loyalty. Hmm, he's actively disloyal as well. Sorry, Avalyn. I'm going to have to make this one a no. I'm, I know I'm usually quite lenient on who I let in the family, but to be honest, I'm turned off by that immediately. I mean, his piety could be better around, if I'm honest. I think he'll just be useless, and I think I've got enough people to worry about, so I'm sorry it's a no from me today. Right, uh, agent detected. French agent was detected and killed. Brilliant. Uh, Salem besieged Nuremberg. Yes, the, Im the Imperials have decided to make a sudden and annoying comeback. Uh, this is actually the new Emperor, Emperor Wickerus. So, what do we know about him? I'm a mere schwein farmer. You call me a shit farmer. Actually, no, it's called me a pig farmer. Shit is scheisse. Uh, right, well. Hmm. If you are the enemy's finest, your people are doomed. This guy's a bit of a fuck, but yeah. Looks like it's pretty much a standard Holy Roman Empire army, but uh, Nuremberg's garrison right now could not possibly sally forth. I'll have to send for reinforcements from Prague and hope that the Polish keep away for a few turns. Uh, send the dismounted. Send the stronger longbowmen. Send a billman. Send a unit of artillery. Uh, actually, send both artilleries and send the levy spears. Um and send one unit for these guys. Might not be enough to win the battle, but it'll be enough to keep them at bay. So head over and join on the next turn. We'll have to, we'll have to just try and hope that the enemy doesn't attack us this turn. Uh, Prague, I would appreciate if you just keep on recruiting. 
and Council Chambers, they don't really do much good for us right now, right? End of Terra Pot, by the way, yeah, money's getting worse. We need to, we need to sit down and have a look at that. Uh, strongest faction, the Mongols are now the strongest in the world. Kind of adds up, I guess. Oh my god, we've got rebels. Uh, what are these? Captain Nusset. Right, we'll deal with him in due course. You're Perkins is now three turns away from the from the Where Mongols. You are one turn away, right? Can we get you Watch closer? You. I want to just learn about them. Uh, pass block. Bloody hell, they're fucking everywhere at this rate, right? We have a 50% chance of getting in and having a look. Uh, but yeah, got that everywhere. We've got, I mean, what have we got here? We've got Captain Bajavu 2. I don't want you to obey me, but what I do know is he's got a lot of Mongolian infantry who look pretty fearsome. Mongolian heavy lancers. Uh, lots of heavy lancers. Mongolian heavy archers. And a few Mongolian foot archers, right? It's not the most balanced time, but at the same time, it's probably one that's going to just cause a lot of hell for me. And are now taking Aleppo as well, so they're built. They're building an empire now. They are. They are building up their strength. That could make them a threat to me. So we have a six percent chance of six, having a look at this guy. And to be honest, we don't seem to have any better chances on anyone else. So it looks like it might be a training mission for you to get you to the point where we can get you watching the Mongols a bit better. So have a look at them, please, because it also seems that a few people, including a Polish, are trying to mate up with them. Right, Mongolians have been trained in basic spy catching, so, um, yeah, that's annoying. Right, Perkin Alvachava, by the way, Alchul, yes. can you get rid of this guy? 82% chance to get blasphemer. rid of Epseeker, just, just... They shall stand trial. Thank you very much, she's gone, and you even got a trait increase, well done you. You are now uh, a servant of God, which gives you additional piety. Looking good, you might actually get yourself up to a cardinal ship at this rate. And yeah, executed, brilliant. Right, faction analysis by where Christopher of Durham is still feeling annoyed. Humphrey Chapman feels appreciated. But he's also been given some fine armour, which actually makes him better at being defended rather than his silly antiquated one, which may look good, but actually is crap. Uh, Christopher of Durham, yeah, he's stuck in the gentleman's club. Right, get to Nottingham. You you're you're, you're going to be moving out this turn, right? You lot, like... Everyone but Turby Hail my king. and Leva Herby Lars is going on a fun holiday to France, so get a shift on you lot. Well, we I'm going to start assigning tomorrow, you to a few cities and you just retrain at COG while you have the opportunity. Right. Structure report by the way. Prague now has a city watch, which has increased our recruitment options. Stockholm's completed its upgrade um, and it's just all repairs. So. Stockholm, well done on getting built up even better. Retrain your archers, and then we've got lots of fun things to look at. Siege works, for example, which will allow us to build trebuchets. Armourers, shipwrights, warehouses. Actually, a warehouse would be good for increasing our trade. Our trade doesn't seem to be too brilliant out of this area, so I would like to do that, or even a fairground. Yeah, go for the fairground today. We could use increasing our monetary income. Uh, recruitment report by the way, Nottingham has produced us some fine mailed knights. Nuremberg some spear and archer militia. Stauffen some mailed knights, yeoman archers. Accra some longbows and levies. Uh, Magdeburg some dismounted feudal knights and then it's just all other stuff, right? Path blocked, yeah, Robin the dead carpenter cannot move, right? Whew, things to do. I really want to know what the Danish are up to. They keep moving our armies around in very erratic patterns. 65% uh, chance to get into Stettin, by the way. 95% chance to have a look at Captain Jens. I'm not too bothered about Captain Jens, but if you want to do a quick uh, psych up and just get some extra skills, then um, I'm more than happy to allow this because I can wait one more turn before we make our way anywhere. I think Stettin may be a tough city to crack. The defences will be brilliant. It's the men inside I'm worried about.
Right, so yeah, this is one of the tougher armies, it seems. He's got a lot of these war clerics who seem like pretty pretty chunky cavalry who uh, are going to really take a lot of killing. Some artillery and dismounted feudal knights. Yeah, he's going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, he didn't get a skill increase, it seems. Oh, he did. I don't know. Did you? No, you didn't. You just got a cutscene, right? So he's got a beguiling bard, so maybe he can use that to his advantage instead of dressing up as a bush or hiding in a cart. Still, do what you can on the next turn, or what do we know about... Actually, we just know the garrison anyway. What we know is there's three people in there, one of which has a terrible haircut. Uh, so we've got King Stenkil, uh, Prince Hafildi, and Gudafrig of Aalborg. So it's got two units of disbanded Huskals. So those guys have proven themselves to be somewhat competent in battle, but... At the same time, we've also proven them to be very good at being killed. We've got some ballistas, town militia, Norse archers, dismounted funeral lights. I think if we could blow through and get that town without disturbing Captain Jens, we would have the Danish wrapped up with a neat little bow. Uh, Hamburg, how close are we to finishing off all our retraining? We'll have it done this turn, actually. So, right, get that done. Get an additional unit of levy spears or anything that's counter cavalry. A couple more feudal knights actually might be of the essence. Do we not get English knights? Like, we get the dismounted version. Maybe, maybe they're a bit further up. Um, I don't know. I have a building browser. Where's my building browser? I want to have a look at my Siege Smith stables. Uh, it'd be Earl Stable. Yeah, we get English knights once we build an Earl Stable. Right, that's cool. Um, can we build an Earl Stable yet? Uh, yeah, we can build the Earl Stables, it's just that they're very, very expensive. Uh, an armourer would be a good move for this town, though, so we can start building heavy mail, so we can get our spears back up to gold standard. Uh, for now, then, can you recruit an additional bunch of levy spears for us to use in case we do have to do with those war clerics? At least then we'll have some some form of defence. Arthur of Bristol, you know what? I want you to join in on the attack against Move. the Emperor as well. So you're we going to go no there. Stauffen can keep on recruiting. Maybe not recruiting. We'll, we'll make our mind up in a minute. Uh, I do need to get a spy heading down to... Actually, we need to get these lot retrained before we go any further. I was going to say we need to get a spy set up, but we can't recruit one here anyway. Uh, Rams, can you get a spy set up for me, please? Yes, you can. Right, Rams is going to get a spy. Because if Prince Achmiet doesn't want to attack, or whatever his name was, um, I'm going to bring the party to him and attack attack uh, Dijon, because I've been wanting that town for a long time now. Uh, right, Captain James, by the way, into Angier with you, or whatever can get to Angier. If it's depleted, it's going in. Uh, simple as that, really, because I want to do some retraining. Um... Arch militia won't get retrained anyway, so it's not even worth putting those guys in. There we go. That's pretty much anyone who's depleted and can be retrained. So get that lot in there, and let's just get some retraining done this turn. So just retrain what we can, but I'm not going to hang around for too long. We'll review at the end. We'll review next turn, and then we're going to make our main, our main move. Right. Prague, you're upset. Um. But there isn't a lot I can do. I need to get a governor in there, which I guess is a good thing that we're going to be sending over to London Gentlemen's Club. London, by the way, you're a bit of a mood. Let's get your taxes low. It better not be due to excommunication, by the way. Yeah, we're getting a few people whinging about that, but um, tough shit. Look, we'll have to wait till the Pope reconciles me. It's not me, it's him. Um, yeah. Right, what am I going to use these last 500 florins on? Because I'm still in the money, but I'm only barely in the money, so it might be worth not doing anything. I'd say I'd just bung this 500 florins actually to the debt to the business yes, so I want to have Lord. a chat with. Approaching their dignitary, let's, um, actually, yeah, you know what, let's use the last of this money just to uh, whet their appetite to the possibilities of a flourishing relationship with the English. We're pretty big, you know. Is so. there something I can do for you, noble lord? Yeah, we're very noble. And they're bankrupt, so they need the money. Um can't offer him an alliance just yet, it seems. I don't seem to have anything of that, but alright, we'll do that later. Uh, for now, how about we swap some map information and just, uh, you know, just... Uh, and you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bung you in a bit of money as well. Have 250 florins on the house, because I'm... I'm a very polite man who, um... You know, I'm generous, see? It seems we have reached an agreement. Good. I'd have wanted kinder words, Until but okay. Until next time. 
So we traded the map in preparation for the Byzantines, didn't really learn anything of interest. We know that they're still in control of Constantinople, Nicaea, Samaria, uh, Trebizond, kind of half and half, I guess. <laughs> and they also control Tbilisi, um, and they also control Limassol, uh, slash Cyprus, so yeah. Uh, yeah, they're doing their own thing, I guess, for the time being. So I think that's another good place where we can call it a turn. So we are going to jump on to the next one now. And we're going to get ready to move on land yet. Oh, wait, we're not going to call it a turn. We've got Polish people to chase and slaughter, haven't we? Tobias. Your enemy. It is me. Right, Tobias, Hail, I'm going to kill you today. You lot, I want you to move in for the kill, please. Get him. As you will, my king, to battle. I have a good feeling about this one. But we'll do, we'll do, I'll deal with Magdeburg's issues in a minute. For now, Tobias is my issue. All right, Tobias, you want a good battle? Because I'm gonna, I'm offering you one. I'm gonna slaughter every last bit of your Stodgemabono infantry, and he's taking me up on it. And it's gonna be a night fight because that makes me better than you. Hey, <laughs> so strength ratio is three to two in my favour. I outnumber him by about two hundred men, and he is bringing. Well, we've already gone through it, but just to recap. He is bringing a unit of Polish Spear Militia, two units of Town Militia, two units of Peasants, three units of Crusader Knights, or, well, two units of Crusader Knights, one of them is actually even Frankish Knights, all three of them are still quite tough. He's bringing two and a quarter units of Mercenary Spears, he's bringing a unit of Bulgarian Brigands, annoyingly, Slav Mercenaries, a unit of Polish Mercen Polish Noble, sorry, one unit of Polish Regular Spears, <coughs> and a Trebuchet and some Catapults. So he has got artillery, which means we need to be careful that we don't play the artillery game with him. However, if I can snipe out his trebuchets, life might just be a bit easier for me. That being said, this time I hold missile superiority, but his cavalry could be my reckoning. Anyway, let's jump in and see what we can do against this fellow today. Honour and glory await England, men! Heard men speak well of me because I do not throw lives away needlessly, and I gain victory for those who follow me. I will not use false modesty and deny these things. Indeed, I say proudly that they are true. I will give you victory if you have the guts to fight like devils when I ask it. Lads, these Poles lack all manners and gentility. So let us not treat them with any great respect. Let us kill them cleanly and show them how English gentlemen make war. And at the last, there are those who say I am a hard taskmaster. I am proud to admit there are few harder. If I lash you with my tongue, it saves you from the whips of foreigners. That way, more of you will come safe home! Now fight, you English sots! Fight! <clears throat> Do you think the Polish really will whip us? No, have you noticed? Horses have huge noses on these games. Right, let's get on with it. <sighs> right, it's going to be a bit of a forest again, but it's not quite... Well, actually, it's kind of the same as the one that we fought in last time. <laughs> actually, we've got the farms again. Uh, but I hope we're not having a situation where we're just fighting one them. But then again, the Poles might use them to their advantage. We don't know. But I suspect that he's going to deploy it towards this clearing. That being said, catapults will be our front line. So we're going to get them deployed here. And um, pretty much standard policy with them. Fire arrows. Uh, longbows, of which I only have two units today. I've got my Yeomans and my Regs. So you guys, front, front and centre. You're not going to be in a situation where we're going to be massacred to death by... But you know what? I'm going to loosen their formation now. I'm going to put them in loose formation just because while we're not going to be massacred to death by Bulgarian brigands left, right and centre, even though there are a couple, uh, I do have the concern that they are basically bringing a lot of artillery. So we're going to just keep our formation loose. But just in case, you know. But yeah, archers, I'm going to have you fight together anyway because you're my longbow division, so... There you go. Um, 
peasants. I'm going to have them hide in the forest for now. I'm going to try and keep my archers as loose as possible for today because I want them ready for just in case we have to engage up close. I'll allow them to use their fire arrows by the way because uh, those guys don't really have a lot of hope of hitting anything anyway. Uh, Archer militia. I'm tempted to put try and get them to control this hill actually. That would give them a good position to try and get some additional fire out on. So yeah, we'll try and see if we can get them up on that hill. If I have some infantry to spare, I'll, I'll have them go with it. Oh, actually, Giles, do you want to look after them? Yeah, Giles, you look after these reserve archers. So there you go. I, because I, you'll do that fine. You'll do that fine. Right, knights, I'm going to have you deploy here. Oh, but well, you're going to try and deploy everyone, aren't you? Right, let's not do it like that. Knights, let's have you deploy at the rear as usual. You guys should be ready and you know what you're up to. Uh, one of them's hidden, the rest of them aren't. Um, could actually, yeah, I'm going to try and hide from here. Uh, just so then at least the Polish aren't quite aware of where I'm going. I mean, I know I'm on the offensive, but I want to try and take one with missiles first. So, if he isn't aware of my army composition, well, he might know what I have in my army. But if he doesn't know where I've put them and what angles I'm going to try and attack on, it could buy me an advantage. Uh, Knights, you're defending the... <coughs> Apologies. You're defending the flanks, by the way. Spears, I want you hearing as well. The enemy's lacking cavalry, but there is still a general's bodyguard out there to be killed, as well as some Polish nobles, so you will have your uses. Plus, I think you guys will be very capable of slaughtering the mercenaries and the... Well, everyone, actually. You, you guys are good at your jobs. Right. So, it's going to be our standard practice, because this time the Polish haven't brought too many missiles for me to worry about. We're going to try and bring them down with, uh, with artillery and longbows first. I'm going to try and take this hill. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have the Spears look after this hill as well. Um, now, it seems like a fool's errand, but I have enough knights to control their cavalry, so... <coughs> I want to lie about because if I get control of this hill... I know these guys don't have the best range in the world, but... Controlling this hill could be of a, a, a great advantage to me, so I do want to do that. Right, let's get this battle underway. Polish have deployed more towards the farm, so getting control of the hill isn't going to be a great advantage to me, but... It's going to allow me to effectively have a secondary reinforcing force set up. So let's get you guys heading for the hill. Because it looks like the Polish mercenaries might want to... Well, the Polish nobles might want to play. I'm sorry about calling them more mercenaries. But oh well. I think it's actually kind of disrespectful to do that. So I might just carry on with it. Right, anyway. The majority of the army has deployed near that farmhouse. So we're going to start moving our artillery forward. And we'll do the same for our longbows. So longbows. If you want to start advancing through the forest... We'll make our positions and then we'll start opening fire. We're not going to move forward too far yet. It looks like we may have the opportunity where we can just try and focus on bringing them down with missiles before we move any infantry forward. So I'm not going to bring them forward just yet just because I don't want them to get crushed by those trebuchets which are sat around looking threatening. Artillery, your job will be to attack that artillery and just try and target it because since I've kind of packed it near the centre of our army, the most likely outcome is we'll miss the the trebuchets nine times out of ten but we'll kill everything else uh, you lot yep you know where you're going let's see at least I'm putting the actual militia up there I could probably snipe out those Polish nobles and then we might be able to maybe lure off a couple of units of infantry up here and if we can we'll have made a great kill zone there but for now we'll just keep, get our first couple of units moving up and ready to go still it's a bit of an odd deployment by the Polish they have deployed incredibly tightly Usually their layouts are quite spread out, but we'll, 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 we'll observe for now. They may have a trick up their sleeve, but for now, it seems like they're somewhat benign. So we'll just speed it up while we get moving. Ah, yes, yeah, see, they did have a trap. Why did I say they didn't have a lot of cavalry, by the way? They have a lot of cavalry in this battle. Right, lads, get yourselves back. They're trying to spring a trap on us. Knights, let's get moving. They're attempting an ambush. I don't like ambushes. I think they're annoying. Lads, just behind the stakes for now, please. Looks like we're going to drive them away for now, but they're, they're, looks like we're actually going to throw everything at it. Right, catapults. I don't know where you are. Oh, they're not in a fun position right now. Catapults. You're a bit stranded. Um, just get yourselves in there. I, I'd say get dug in. We've got a fight on our hands, and it's a forest. They're always lovely and chaotic, right? Knights, get yourselves forward a little bit. Peasant archers, 
Are you to try and move forward? Right, knights, what are we engaging right now? I need I need I need to know everything you're engaging, because look, mercenary spears. Let's not engage those because that's just a recipe for instant death, so. You get yourselves out of there, right? Reinforcing out of there. The Polish nobles have taken notice of you and they want to fight. So, Archer Militia, yeah, you, they already know what they're doing. Just kill them off. Not you, though. Just get in there, kill them. Lads will skirmish. General, if you have the opportunity, just just, just axe him here. Yeah, I was a bit silly not moving off all my spears, wasn't I? Silly squawker, right? Lads, guard, no skirmishing. Um, like, seriously, no skirmishing. Spears, I need you to get down here because things are going to go topsy-turvy quite quickly if we're not careful. Right, catapult, what are we up to? What are we up to? Peasant archers, by the way. Let's get you guys set up around here. Got a lot of my archers just firing. Right, uh, for some reason the Polish haven't attacked my catapults yet, despite the fact they've got a the perfect position to do so. So, right now, it is a fucking slaughterhouse with the catapults. They are just sat here and basically just getting free shots. And, uh, that was close. Right, Billman, let's get you... Uh, yeah, that trebuchet is going to be causing problems for us a lot. Right, don't know why the enemy's going for a Cantabrian circle today. I'm going to call it a Cantabrian circle, even though it's probably an outdated term at this point. You know what, lads? Just get in there. Archers, cease fire. I need to start moving down. My main army needs a lot of help right now, so we've got to get down there, and we've got to deal with this, because... They're chucking everything they have at us, and luckily my archers are skirmishing away, but I already feel like I am losing a lot of control in this battlefield. Knights, get rid of those mercs. I do not want to tolerate them in this battle, because they are going to just cause issue upon issue. <coughs> archers, just skirmish wherever you can. We're being put on a defensive here, so, right, feudal knights, you're on, you're on, get yourselves on a defensive formation. I've got crusading knights coming this way. And they are hitting my Billman. Right, Billman! Grit your teeth! Get in there! I know you can do it. Right, what have we got coming up here? The general himself has got... We've got the attention of the general himself, actually. Right. Spears! Get in there and deal with those Crusader Knights. I know you've got that in you. Archers, I'd pull it back a little bit. Spears, you're hidden. Spring your trap. Get in there. And bring this general down. You may have to run. Archers, run away. Bring the general to my spears, please. You lot... Don't just stand there and stare at him. Come on. Right. It's alright. We may just make it in this one. Got those guys running away from it. Guys, put your efforts on bringing down that general bodyguard. Right. What's going on over here? I have got... Am I being flanked by archers here? No, those are my own archers. Right, archers. Try and just target anything that's kind of just sifting around on the flanks. But do keep skirmishing away. I just want you to continue supporting me. Right. Heavy infantry, we're going to start cut, making inroads into their lines. We're going to start moving in. We're going to close the box. We've kind of got, we kind of got what I can't, I've got an idea of what flank we're on. Knights, we need to do some better control here. I cannot have you. Oof! Every trebuchet shot that goes out is is so fucking near fatal. Right? You know what, knights? You're depleting the number, but that 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 trebuchet is vulnerable. I've got some Bulgarian brigands trying to cut us off. But if we can, if we can just push past them, leave them for now, as much as I would enjoy ripping them to pieces, I need you focusing on bringing down every last bit of artillery the Polish have to their name. Right, how, how are we going over here? Right, the general is isolated and he's getting killed. My general is standing around with a great big thin line of fucking spittle coming out of his mouth because he really just doesn't get the idea today. Come on! My general has no honour. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. I should not be babysitting you, Giles. I know you're a good general. Please do not test my patience like that again. Right. We're, make, we're making gains on this battlefield now, but it has so far descended into absolute chaos. But as it stands, the Polish are losing heart. And now that I've got their artillery positions attacked, that's the, the enemy Bulgarians running. on the run. Good, they good, 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 good. Right, what are we doing men. over here? What are we fighting here? Catapult crew, right? Just keep fighting them. I'm, I'm confident in your ability to get them slaughtered. General's done a runner for now, right? Let him run. You lot. Regroup over here. You're going to reinforce my army now. Don't run, by the way. Right, you. What are you doing over here? You've got rid of the Polish nobles at long last, right? Return to the main battlefield. Your army needs you. They need you to be supporting. 
Right, heavy infantry. What are we up to? What is even left on this battlefield? It is just such a mess right now. Um, what's going on over here? It's, it's got a big blob going on here. What is the sitch here? I've got a lot of dead units, that's what I'm telling you, but a lot of them seem to be Polish. A lot of them are English as well. Uh, we've got the spearmen engaging us here as well as the mercs. Right, we need some reinforcements. It's about night, so you haven't got much to do. Get in there and help. Same goes for you lot. Can you get in there and just lend a hand to the building, please? They've got a lot on their plate right now, so they could really use some support. Archers, where have my archers gone? Right, my peasant archers did sal did skirmish a long way away. Our uh, men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right, you know what? It's just getting a little too cramped in this battlefield for you archers. So I want to disable your fire at wills, regroup, and await further orders. I might have you try and take down some stragglers, but for now, there's just there's there's a big element of risk when it comes to friendly fire. So. I don't necessarily want you putting in blind shots when we're risking a lot of our own catches. Right, knights, they're routing, but, um, actually, yeah, we're all routing, right? Knights just chase down whatever's routing. Uh, rest of my knights, yeah, my, my knights have had it for today. They've, they've really lost their out on numbers. What's going on over here, by the way? It looks like a general's bodyguard came back, and he's engaging my spears, so, yeah, he lost. General. Break the spirit of his army. You have an opportunity to head him off at the pass. I would take it. Killing a Polish general is something of a price. Oh, good. Pursue and run them down. I guess even when I'm not in full control of battle, I can rely on my men to do a fantastic job. And for once, that isn't sarcasm. All right, get that general. He's a prize to me. Killing a Polish general is a great prize. I consider him to be skilled. Even if this one made some tactical errors in trying to throw away his own life. I still see him as a worthy enemy. He'd make a fine prisoner. And he'd probably fetch a very high price in the Polish royal courts as well. So if you could bring him down, I'd be most appreciative. Still, we've seen off another Polish attack. But once more, they win. But they take my men with them. 30% of my men went down this battle. That's a hefty number. And the reason for that is entirely on me this time. I made some glaring tactical errors in this battle. I shouldn't have separated my spearmen. Even if at the end of the day, you know, they were great for nicking down the general's bodyguard. Um, I, sh I, I don't know why I erroneously forgot about all those crusader knights who I've been hyping up. That was daft. That was very daft. And it looks like he will escape today. He'll fight. He'll live to fight another day then. And hopefully the next day we fight him. He won't be so lucky. But he can tell the tale of this battle to his friends. I will allow it. Right, what's left? What is left in this battlefield? There's drips and drabs running away. So let's just try and catch up and kill whatever we can. Quite a lot heading this way, actually. Right, lads, levy spears. Get in there. Knights, get in there. There's a lot of things that you could be trying to kill here. Archers, you know what? Get some shots out. You could... Try and shoot out whatever you can as well, because I'd, I'd love I'd love to get a couple of stragglers shot down, please. So, just see what you can get. There we go. Oh, by the way, uh, don't bother with uh, flaming arrows. Keep it cool for now. Just go for kill shots. Anything just to wound and disarm them, just to stop them from escaping, would be most appreciated. Okay, knights, don't just walk next to them. Don't bother with peasants, they're not worth my time. Kill, kill something worth killing. Something that the, that the Polish want to pay for to get back. But am I really going to ransom this army? I think Poland has too much military right now. Maybe worth me to put them on a crash diet by uh, just taking part in a little bit of ritual slaughter. Or, you know, just a little bit of um, hewing. Polish hewing. Horse hewing. Just getting rid of their numbers. They've, 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 um, they've got a fat military. So I'm going to get it on the treadmill. The treadmill of running away from my superior forces, that is. Alright, you lot, try and catch up if you can, but it looks like the rest of these guys are going to get away from us today. Still, you've done a pretty damn good job of your battle today. I appreciate everything you've done for me in bringing down this big Polish threat. I did not want that getting much further into my lands, and now that it's dealt with, at least we can be safe in that we might have delayed the next Polish attack. However, they do be coming with a degree of frequency, 
So, I do remain worried. They could be planning something bigger. Much bigger. But only time will tell. For now, we'll just remain vigilant. Once the Danish are dealt with and the Imperial subdued once and for all, then the Polish can be a, a focal point. That being said, an invasion of Poland is just something I'm not very interested in committing to at the end of the day. I, want, I wanted to make them a friend, but they rejected that. However, being a gracious soul I am, I will always leave my door open to you Poland if you ever want to turn around and become my ally. Think of your future. It would be worth it in the long run to be an ally. Two great powers united, controlling Europe side by side. One rules the west, the other rules the east. And we never have to fight, we never have to squabble. Instead we could trade, make money, spread piousness and get rid of a perk. I think we'd be a great team up you and I, Poland. So I hope you reconsider. Or I would love to have you on Team England. You'd be a valuable asset to me. However, if you don't change your mind, I'll have to strip you of yours. Okay, who's left in the battlefield? I'm running out of speeches. Who is left? We have got a couple of guys over here who are being chased down, or at least trying to be chased down. Mailed Knights, can you get on top of that one, please? We've got another unit somewhere in this forest. Right, who's who's in here? Who's in the forest? Must be very well hidden. Oh wait, they're here. They're stuck. Alright, catapult crew. Um we kill him? Come on. There we go. Good job, lads. We await your command. That was interesting, right? How are we doing over here? Kill the last of these peasants off. Get rid of them. Should never have been brought into my lands. Go to a place that is not their home. Not their farms to till and tender. Instead now they find themselves at my sword hilts. And dead. Well my knights have a hard time hitting targets at the best of times. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valour. A clear victory I will take, but I feel like I don't deserve it. I feel I was clumsy in my tactics today. I don't take this threat as seriously as we could. That being said, however, our losses were acceptable. Only 540, so a quarter of our army was lost. Whereas Tobias Zacharek faces heavy defeat. So I will have that for definite. Knights and longbows were very well performed. Longbows actually did better than I thought I did because I didn't really get them doing a lot. Yeomans, yeah, they did pretty well. Billmen, yeah, they were pretty good. So my male knights, 216 kills for one of my male knights. And I'm glad to see a lot of units actually gained experience today. So that's what I want to see. Units getting experience for good deeds. That's just what I want to see at the end of the day. It's more likely to raise two of them than born one one. For one's through fortune and the other's through merit. Right, I suspect the Polish pockets are deep enough to pay me this ransom. Uh, that being said, this was a major army and I don't feel too open to uh, allowing them to live. So, but executing them wouldn't really assist me in any attempt to get peace with the Polish. So, we'll strike a compromise. Yes, we can pay. Please, Lord. If you can pay up, you can have your troops back. <laughs> You know, I don't even get to set the prices. If if I did, I would have given them, uh, like, you know, a bargain discount, but oh well. Who hates me now, by the way? Poland, probably. Or oh, it might be Milan. Probably Milan, actually. Could almost take bets on it being Milan. Oh, yeah, he lived, so he's going to walk away. I'll get you next time, Tobias. Consider yourself lucky you lived. By God's will, we have triumphed! Making camp here. No okay, sign. Giles, when you have the opportunity Hail to get yourself back king. to Magdeburg. Uh, Hail my king. And you, John, will go to Magdeburg just for this turn, just to keep an eye on a settlement. Just in case someone with sticky Polish fingers tries to take it off you. Uh, bounce back to a, uh, a growth bill policy just for this turn, by the way. We'll deal with your population losses soon. Who hates me now, by the way? Poland. Right. Cool. I'm, a, I'm happy with Poland hating me. Well, not really. 
Don't ever hate me. It's like, oh, you decided to execute all my troops. Well, bitch, you had the fucking opportunity to pay up and get your troops back, but you didn't. So, um, you know. You blew it. Oh, by the way, Charles, you you've got a job to do, aren't you? Is there someone you can you still will. kill? No, he's wandered off, right? 11% chance to get rid of Tobias. 5% chance to kill the Emperor of Uselessness. Uh, do you want to sabotage something in Vegas area? Target, no. Sire. Need something for you to do. I don't want to just let him you go on Tobias my, because my I have so little faith in my assassins, I kind of just want to waste him now. I guess we could do it just to top off this episode, just watch an assassin do something fruitless. What are the odds this is actually like the Today first time in the world an assassin sucks? Well, alright, I know. I know assassins have been successful in the past, but you know what? Let's just see if this one actually works. I bet it doesn't. I'm pretty much positive it doesn't because we, even when it's like a majority chance, they, they, they screw it up. But let's just see if this time we're somehow lucky. Yeah, I forgot this guy failed his door opening classes, so um, it wasn't going to happen, right? Not really too bothered about him failing, it was kind of expected. Right, anyway, I think that's a good place to call it a day for today, my fo my friends, my folks. Uh, I could pick on those rebels as a finisher, actually, but we're going to use... I'm going to do about to warm up on my next episode, in which we will deal with these rebels. We will make start making our move on Bordeaux, and we'll deal with the new emperor, for this new emperor seems to... I've probably made it his manifesto to uh, deal with me. So, I guess I will honour it and deal with him instead. Oh, they'll be, they'll be running out of emperors in no time, these Imperials, won't they? Between me and the Papal States who... I don't know, are they actively attacking the Papal States? Are they, like, having an active war down here? I don't know. I'm keeping out of it still because I'm not starting to fight with a Pope. That would uh, put me in hotter water than I'm already in. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode, my friends. Have a lovely evening.